What's up, guys? It's Harley, and this is my second episode of Subby Sundays. If you missed my first episode, the annotation on the screen now, you can click, or you can click it later and watch the first episode if you missed it and you want to see it. This episode is featuring LD10N, is how his YouTube username reads, but he pronounced it LDON, I think, in his commentaries. That's how it sounded when I was hearing you introduce yourself on your commentaries, if I'm wrong. I apologize, but, you know, he has 111 subscribers, which is a good amount of subscribers. Uh, he's very active. You can see on the screen he uploads a lot by the days underneath the videos. Commentaries are my favorite thing to watch, so this is how I feel about commentaries. Not commentaries, but how you can make your commentaries better, what are good about your commentaries. Like I said, these videos aren't just helping the people featured in them, but also the people out there. If you commentate, this can help your channel as well if you're listening in. But yeah, I think you have a nice commentating voice. It's entertaining. It's not boring or bland. Like, you can hear yourself clearly. Your mic quality is good. You can tell you know about the game. I hate when people commentate and they don't know what they're talking about, but you know what you're talking about and you can tell in your commentaries which is good. You use different guns in the videos, uh, not just same shit, different video, like you bring new stuff to each one of your videos, which is important for your active subscribers. They don't want to see the same thing. Uh, your topics and your videos are good too. I'll mention this later because I also have something to say about this later on. Uh, your best video. It's hard for me to pick when it comes to commentaries because... Usually, I think commentators have similar styles in each video. You can tell if you watch one of your videos and then play it for someone else. Like, they know it's the same person. Same voice, same attitude, you know? So, I picked this one to mention just because it's short. And it'll give you guys a tiny preview on his commentating. So, yeah, here it is. What's going on, guys? I'm Old Dion, and I'm bringing you guys a quick little quad kill cam thing, I guess. Even though it doesn't show the kill cam because it's on theater mode. But, uh, fuck it. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to be opening a commentary today because, you know, I really don't have much to talk about for a commentary. So I'm going to show you guys this little clip, and the uh, live session starts Monday. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Till next time, peace. I have to say, though, guys watching this, don't judge this whole channel off this video just because it's not a gameplay commentary. Like, definitely go look for yourself. One of them I enjoyed watching was the 15-in-1 gameplay on Hijacked. It's where he just talked. I think the title is Just Talking. I will link in the description as well as everything I talk about in this video will be linked. Uh, I tend to like commentary similar to that one just because I like hearing about people. I like just like randomness. That's just the kind of thing I like listening to. Some things you can change about your commentaries that might make them a little bit better or help out your channel. Your live commentaries, it's only in those that I notice that your game sounds a bit loud. I don't know if you do it through a certain a program on your computer. But make sure you watch your game sound in your live commentaries because it might over flood your voice. Only in their live commentaries though. Uh, also, you play a lot of Black Ops 2. Maybe try uploading some different games. Try to reach out to more people. Unless you are known for Black Ops 2. I know some people on YouTube are more known for certain games or certain game types or certain commentaries in general or episodes or whatever. If that's the case, then that's it's cool, but if not, I think you should branch out and play different games just to reach out to more different audiences. Uh, me, personally, I like hearing people talk about their lives. This is where I said I'd come back to the topic of topics. Um, I like talking about hearing about people's lives. So maybe do more commentaries like that. I've seen a lot of viewers are about the game and the gameplay, which is great because normal people probably enjoy that a lot, which I do too, but sometimes I'm just nosy and like to hear about people. <laughs> That's just as clear as I can put it. And interact with your subscribers so they'll come back and watch more of your videos. I've seen you reply to your comments, um, well, most of your comments, which is good, but try to interact as much as you can. This is probably the advice that I will say in almost every episode to people because it's really important to interact with your subs, not only to grow your channel, but like I said in my first episode, it makes you, you make friends, okay? And friends are really important to have on YouTube. If you didn't, if you don't have friends on YouTube, it's like, it's 10 times harder 
So let's put it that way. So I hope this video helped. If it didn't or if you have any other questions, make sure you comment and I'll let you know my answer to it. Uh, try to help you out as much as I can. And anyone else who needs help with their channels, just comment below if you want featured on my episode. Say you want featured. Um, and that, that's about it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.